Hey everybody, I'm Maggie McGaw and today I am winging it and I have no idea what I'm doing but I've got really ugly countertops. This room is our above garage apartment so there's not an oven or anything but it's just a hideous countertop and I want to do something budget friendly. Is it going to look cheap? Possibly, but it is cheap. So what I'm thinking about doing is either this subway peel and stick tile but it has kind of a grip to it. Um, and I don't think that would make sense to do on the countertops. I think it's more intended to be backsplash or peel and stick wallpaper. And I've used this up before and it's pretty awesome. So let's kind of figure it out as we go and see how this project turns out. I'm gonna break down the supplies I'm starting with. Keep in mind, I might have to adjust some things as I'm figuring out what's working and what's not working. So I am obviously gonna to have to clean first. I'm gonna be cleaning with just some Lysol wipes. Any kind of cleaner will work. Just make sure you're getting in the grooves of the grout if you're doing this with tile. If you're not doing this with tile, this is gonna be a lot more complicated than you can probably just slap on some paper if you have a smooth surface, but mine is not smooth. I also have some smoothers to get the lumps out of the wallpaper. I have this and caulk because I was gonna use grout. That was my genius idea. I was like, I'm gonna use grout. And then I realized, you know, if you put grout in between tile, it'll work because it has that, that surface on the inside of the tile that holds it, but then you wipe off the rest and it comes right off. So it's not intended to stick to the top of tile. So that's not gonna work. That's when I realized I'm gonna try caulk. So I've got a caulk gun, my caulk, and just a smoother, anything with a smooth surface that you can kind of use to help get that on there is perfect. Uh, there are lots of options for peel and stick uh, toppers. So this is from Tic, Tic Tac Tile. The only thing is it's not thick enough to use on bumpy surfaces. So I'm still gonna have to caulk it either way and try to get a smooth surface. And again, it is kind of a, like a grippery feel. So I feel like it might kind of get dirty quick, but it's a great option for backsplash. And this is very smooth. Uh, it's kind of a thicker, it's not like super thin, like wall wallpaper is, but I'll show you, it's really shiny. So you're not gonna have to seal it. It's water resistant. Uh, and I'm gonna caulk the edges to make sure water doesn't get underneath and grow mold. But I also have scissors, a razor for whenever I'm going around the edges. I think that's the gist of it, but I'm probably gonna have to add some things as I'm figuring out what is and is not working. So step one, let's get to cleaning the tile. Nothing fancy here. I am just getting the dust. I'm gonna go in between all these seams and try to get it as clean as possible. Now I have to begin and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a caulk gun. It's not going to take a lot. There's a very small line. Whew. Okay, got some more laid. Let's give this a shot. Just be shaking. All right, keep it straight. Okay, that might be a problem. Actually, I need to loosen up on the midsections. Oh, but it is smoothing it right out. Wow. Oh my gosh, this might work. All right, I figured out a trick for y'all when you're doing this. So I recommend doing one direction only, letting it completely dry, which might take a day or two, and then going back the other direction. So moving forward, see how messy this is? I'm just gonna be doing this way for the rest of it, and then I'll come back to do the rest. You can see all of this was doing both directions, and then this was doing one, and it's much smoother. I sanded it with a 220 grit, and kind of cleans it up and actually vacuumed up some of the leftover gunk. It's not perfect, but I think it might be good enough for the peel and sticks. So let's give it a try and see if this is a disaster. The scary part about this is if I pull up the peel and stick wallpaper to move it, it might pull up this whole caulk, all the caulk, and that'll be a huge disaster. So I'm gonna try to get this down as smoothly as possible. And I'm gonna go little by little and see how this goes. I totally put it on crooked, but that's okay because I just wanted to make sure this was gonna work. From over here, it looks awesome, right? But when you go over here, you can kind of see the texture of the tile underneath, and I just don't know if I love that. It's pretty lumpy, even though I smoothed everything out. It's way better than it would have been had I not smoothed the tile out underneath. But I don't want guests coming in. Well, it's actually not terrible, y'all. Hmm. 
Let me sleep on it. My husband just pointed out that you can see through, you can see right through the paper. So I'm gonna have to try a different brand because I think this one's just too thin. It's a new day. I got some higher quality peel and stick countertop that I've used before. Let's see how it goes. It looks like it's not gonna be see-through. It already looks like it's gonna hide bumps really well. See from that angle, you can't see any bumps. Let's give it a try. It went on really smooth, but you can see it, it's see-through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double it. So, cause I really like the quality of it otherwise, uh, it's just thin. And if this was white, I wouldn't have this issue, but it's bright green and white. So um, I'm just gonna do a second coat on it, but I can already tell even from this angle with the light shining on it, there are barely any bumps in it. I'm gonna do another coat, see how it looks thin. Now we're talking, so if you stare super close in direct sunlight, you can kind of see the outline of the green. So I could do three coats, but I don't want to. So this looks great to me. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the kitchen and then show you some final touches. Here's how it's looking so far. It's honestly pretty good. But what I'm doing is caulking the edges. So I'm not only caulking the edges, but I'm caulking the seams in between to help make it a little more waterproof and it's a white caulk so it's going to conceal this line a little bit better all right it's looking really good so far but i was cutting along the edge with the razor and the tile is uneven this one's lower than this one because it was not a good tile job so what i'm doing now is just cutting a straight strip see how smooth that one is if you get up close you can see i didn't make it the right length i don't really care Far away, you can't tell. It's a busy enough pattern, but now it's perfectly straight. So I'm gonna finish making all of them perfectly straight by just using the edge of the roll of the wallpaper, and then I'm gonna be done. Here's how the counter turned out. I am completely done with it. It is stunning. I'm really impressed. So what I will say that I learned early on is straight edges are gonna be the key to making it look realistic, even if your tile is not straight edged you got to make it straight edge. So it might have a little bit of overhang at the bottom, but it's pretty stiff paper. Here you can see up close how pretty it is. It's got a really nice shine to it and you can wipe it. I just use Lysol. I've used wet wipes so it can get a little damp. Obviously I wouldn't like pour water on it. I wouldn't use high heat on it, but it's looking real good. So if you're looking for an awesome home project on a budget that's gonna make your, look, your kitchen look high end, this is a great one. It's a great starter project. You don't have to have any skill or experience. You literally just peel and stick on there. If you've already got a smooth surface, this project's gonna be way easier, but you can make it work with what you've got. It looks really realistic. If you get up close, you're probably gonna see some bumps, probably gonna see some, some seams, but you know what you're not gonna see? a $10,000 counter that I had to spend $10,000 on. So I'm really impressed with this. It's a really great project. Let me show you some more close-ups and be sure to hit follow slash subscribe for YouTube, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for way more content that I post here on YouTube. And thanks for checking out the video.